I have spent the last few weeks hunting to find the best free plugins that were lost in the darkest depths of the internet. I have searched endless pages and junked up hard drives with trash plugins just to bring you these nine gems. If you produce anything like lo-fi, jazz, R&B, or soul, then you gotta stick around for the last plugin. And if you watch to the end of the video, I got a special bonus I wanna give to you. All right, let's get it. To start things off, we have Sonata by Soha Sound Design. Now, I know this VST looks basic, but trust me, it's not. This is a synth VST with a very distinct character. It has quite a few presets that sound amazing. It has plucks, bells, metallic sounds, basses, and so much more. Here, listen to a few of my favorite presets. To download this VST, click the link in the description and click here. And also remember to get the free sound banks too. Just a quick side note, whenever I load a new bank, the preset names never change, but the actual sound does. So that's just a little bug that I had. Maybe you have it too if you install it, but trust me, that doesn't take anything away from this plugin. Next up, we have Vintager Toy by Solcito Musica. I apologize if I botched that. Now this plugin is basically an EQ that will transport your sounds back in time. Now, even though it doesn't have any wow or flutter knobs, it still sounds crazy. You can put this on single instruments, instrument groups, vocals, or even the master channel. Okay, now here's what the plugin looks like. There's a knob for noise, there's a low pass filter, stereo and mono options, and also a switch for saturation. This right here is a readout of what you're doing to the signal, and it has a decent amount of presets to get you started. This plugin is so easy to understand, and I highly recommend it. All right, just to show you, listen to the sample before Vintager Toy. And now listen to it after. I mainly just use Vintager Toy on all the channels. Uh, I added a little bit of chorus, reverb, and delay just for like a little extra touch. But you can see here, it doesn't take much to get that gorgeous vintage sound with this plugin. Okay, moving on, we got Quattro Mod by Audio Damage. This is a free multi-effect plugin that's good for flanger, chorus, phasing, and frequency shifting. You can switch up all the parameters like you like, or you could be like me and just go through the presets. Here, take a quick listen to these samples. This one is also really easy to download. As an added bonus, you could click the link in the description to see other plugins that Audio Damage has for free. There's about 30 or more plugins here, and some of them are outdated, but some that I would recommend are Adverb, Dverb, Mangleverb, Pan Station, and Rough Rider 1, 2, or 3. And of course, Quattro Mod. Here we have Repeat X by Z3 Audio Labs. Repeat X is a stutter multi effect plugin. Think of it as a free version of Looperator or Effectrix, or something similar to the other free plugin called Glitch. You can see this plugin is a little bit more complicated, but don't let that scare you. There's a filter, ring modulation, a bit crush and saturation, panning, delay, this little stutter effect, and a tape stop effect. Now, usually I don't really mess with any of these knobs. I'll just take a sound or some chords. I'll run it through Repeat X, and then I'll flip through the presets and see if I could get any kind of weird textures and then I'll record those and use those. Here, listen to this for an example. Here are just some basic chords.
Now I put repeat X on it and I got this. Then I added a Wurlitzer, a perk loop, a choir, and a bass line and got this. Then I put it in Fruity Slicer, pitched it down an octave, chopped it up, and got this. Okay, next up we have Vera Speed by GSI. This right here is another one of those hidden gems that gets swept under the rug. Vera Speed is a simulation of the WEM copycat IC400 belt drive Vera Speed model. It's the first tape echo made by WEM and the plugin is pretty true to the original. If you right click on any blank space in the plugin, you could get a few options like the show help overlay. This will explain what all the knobs do, but I usually just mess with stuff until I find something that sounds good. Just by turning the effect on, it automatically puts your sound in mono and gives it a nice vintage tape character. Hey, real quick, if you're getting anything out of this video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can get more helpful resources just like this video. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, the next plugin is an amazing phaser plugin called Super Phaser by Smart Electronics. Now, if this GUI looks familiar, that's because this plugin was created by the same company that brought you Ambience. But back to Super Phaser, it's a really dope phasing plugin with total customization and a ton of presets to get you started. Now some of these plugins may hurt your ears while going through them, so I would suggest turning the volume down before you just flick through these presets. But this plugin is still totally worth it because it could completely change your sound. And I would definitely recommend it if you make NAMI or Coop the Truth type samples. Here, just listen to this. Okay, this next plugin has a special place in my heart because it's so awesome, but it's so slept on. Mika Micro by Tessalode. This plugin is a subtractive FM synth with tons of presets ranging from plucks, pads, basses, weird sounds, and a whole bunch more. Okay, listen to the sample that I made only using sounds from Mika Micro. So I actually already dedicated a whole other video to this plugin, but I had to mention it again. If you want to hear more about Mika Micro or you're a producer that uses synths or you make like Travis Scott type beats, then definitely watch this video next. Okay, next up we have Divisor by Plectron. This is a multi-effect plugin that simulates different devices. There's about 16 of them to choose from and they all have their own set of effects. Here, take a listen to this.
Okay, now this last plugin is perfect for any producer that produces lo-fi, jazz, R&B, or soul. It's called Lazy Snake by ERS. Now, Lazy Snake is a lo-fi electric piano plugin that has some crazy sounds. Now, this plugin has presets that includes Wurlitzers, electric pianos, Rhodes, and even some organ sounds. The wah and the tremolo are really nice touches. Now, I know it looks a little basic and every sound is not fire, but the sounds that are fire sound really good. Here, I'm gonna play you a few sounds that have no effects on them. I'm telling you, you could probably make something magical with a little chorus, a little phaser, or a little vintage EQ. So because you stayed with me this long, I want to give you a special gift. So every sample from this video comes from the Loop Source Cloud9 sample pack. And I want to give you the sample, stems, and MIDI absolutely free. And as always, everything is 100% royalty free, so you don't have to pay for any further clearance. So definitely go cop that after this video. The link is in the description. Okay, cool. So now you have all the top secret plugins, but if you want some secret tricks to help make better melodies, then definitely watch this video next.